Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Audit Command Language. So this is the sixth video of a series of eight videos. So we're on the home stretch. And in today's topic, we'll be covering joining data. And we are gonna leverage off what we did in the previous lessons, uh, one to five. So I highly recommend that you check out uh, videos one to five before proceeding to this video. So let's get started. So I have the tutorial analytics project open. So the concept of joining data before we get into it. So joining data is again, I'm again, I'm showing you all really important functions. So I'm going to again say that it's really important. And the reason why is that joining allows you to connect two tables without actually appending them together. So this is where, where extracts allow you to append and allow you to increase the number of rows. What joining does allows you to increase the number of columns. So you can join, uh, for example, if you have payroll at a store and you have sales at a store, you can join those two data sets together to actually be able to compare payroll and sales. So here, I'm just going to put together some uh, some examples. And I'm going to do it through the interface. And then I'm going to show you how to do it through scripting. And I, again, highly recommend that you do it through scripting. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, what I want to know is what percentage of someone's individual salary, uh, what uh, yeah, what percentage of their salary makes up is co relative to the total months of, uh, total salary for that month. So what we're going to do here is you have to make sure you have your primary table open. So the primary table is your base table that you want to work with. And you're going to click on this uh, join button. You can also go to analyze and uh, click on is it analyze or maybe it's actually data. It's actually data. So you can see how not very often I use this interface function. So you click on join and what your first thing you're going to do is select your secondary table. So in this case, I'm going to select employee sum. And then what I'm going to do is now you need to select what keys actually are common between the two data sets that you actually want to join on. So in this case, I want to join on month. And I'm going to go to the secondary key. You can also join on a number of different criteria. In this case, we're just joining on one. And then here, you're going to select what fields you want. In this case, I want them all. And then in the secondary field, I only want, uh, where is it called? Total, total salary. And then if I go to more, what you'll see here is again, you have the first, next, while, etc. cetera. Uh, here, there's different types of joins. So there's this matched primary records. That means only give me the records that match perfectly between the two data sets. Uh, so for example, if there's months one to 12 in the first data sets and only 10 to one to 10 on the second table set, it's only going to be able to match the records that have months one to 10 because that's common between both. If I say include all primary records, it's going to give me all the records in the primary table, regardless if they, if they match on the secondary table, in this case, secondary table being the employee sum and then include all records in secondary will be, give me all the records in secondary, regardless if they don't match on the primary. And this is really important. Uh, to know because you would use primary and secondary. You can see how you use primary because you still want the base detail regardless. Uh, but you can also see what you, it might be a little bit hard to conceptualize when you would use secondary. The, the example when you would use secondary is when you're comparing two equivalent tables and you actually want to perform a reconciliation. So the example would be if you want to perform, compare the general ledger to the trial balance to make sure your journal entries are complete. That's an example of where you would want to know whether or not there's any records only in the general ledger and only rec and records that are only in the trial mounts. So this is an example when you use primary and secondary. This unmatched primary records, which means give me only the records that exist in the primary record primary table uh, and don't exist in the secondary table. An example of when you would do this is if you have a list of transactions <coughs> and the list of people that are authorized to approve those types of transactions and you have a list of authorized or so then you have the, those two lists so then what you can do with the list of transactions with approvers then you can see if there's any approvers that approved a transaction that wasn't on that authorization list 
So that can help you identify exceptions. Really important. And then many to many match, to be honest, uh, most data doesn't require you to do many to many match. The only exception is uh, if you take a look at uh, one of my ideal workshops where I did segregation of duties, uh, you would have to do uh, many to many match when you're doing uh, user, I think, uh, roles to users compared to the roles in objects, uh, just because there's many, many match. But to be honest, not very often you would do it. Uh, you would really focus on on these four. So here, I'm just going to click on matched, uh, match primary records because I know that uh, they exist on both. So I'm going to call this employee may uh, total join. <coughs> And then I'm gonna press yes. And then what you'll see here, it looks very similar. The only thing is it actually includes the salary here. So now I can actually compare uh, the salary to, uh, or it also includes the total salary, okay. So you can actually now go compare compare these records uh, together to see what percent, if, there is, if there's ever a case where salary makes up a material mark, uh, someone's individual salary makes up a larger than X percent of the total salary. So we're actually gonna, I'm gonna delete that table and I'm going to do the same thing using scripting. So we're going to open uh, underscore employee may. And then we're going to open uh, employee sum. And in order to declare something as a secondary record, we just type the word secondary beside it. And then uh, what we're going to do here is now we're going to go join P key, which is what's our primary key we want to join on. In this case, it's month fields. What fields do we want to include? In this case, I want to include them all. S key. In this case, the field's also called month. The What's the key on the secondary table that we want to join by? In this case, I want to join with. And if I go to sum, I'm going to go salary here. And I'm going to just going to put as total salary. And then I'm going to go to employee uh, may uh, total join and there's a couple things we have to do on top of this is pre-sort sex sort open so what pre-sort does pre-sort sorts the primary table and then sex sort sorts uh, the secondary table so that's much easier to join the tables so we're gonna run it and then there you go so I really like using it through the interface because I can change things on the fly and uh, I know it looks kind of long and kind of intimidating, but you'll soon notice with a lot of good practice, it'll be super intuitive. It'll be a lot quicker if you use interface or if you use scripting as well, you can copy and paste, uh, which then allows you to uh, reduce some of the, the startup time. So that's it for joining really important, quick lesson, but uh, hopefully you learned something and go and practice it with your own data, practice it with this data, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next lesson.